Hey G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. I uh, thought I'd give my camera a trial run. Um, don't have any editing software just yet, but um, I thought I would um, give it a shot and see if I could upload it into the computer. But I thought I would take a little bit of time and uh, share with you guys how I got started in G.I. Joe. Uh, being born in uh, the mid 70s, I was a Star Wars child. I uh, hit the theaters in 77. I I was just immediately in love with it. So when uh, I first saw a commercial for GI Joe in 82, I, w I was just floored. I was already taken by action figures. I loved them. Spent more time playing with action figures than I did any other toy. And uh, so I wanted to start collecting G.I. Joe. But um, my parents said we could only collect one thing at a time. Uh, came from a large family, so money was a little bit thin. So, um, I really didn't um, get very many to start off with as a, as a kid. Uh, my very first um, G.I. Joe action figure was the Cobra Trooper. Received that for Christmas in 1982. Unfortunately, I do not have that one. Uh, it got lost over the years. Um, but I thought he was just really cool. I even integrated him in with, with my Star Wars action figures. So, after Return of the Jedi came out and Star Wars died off, I, my brother and I were collecting Masters of the Universe and then um, G.I. Joe along with that. So I I started started focusing a little bit more on, on G.I. Joe as well. The, actually the very first action figure that I had purchased with my own money still have him. was Blowtorch. Did a little bit of yard work for a neighbor and went to the grocery store and purchased him. Now we had a really cool grocery store out here in Arizona. It's called Smitty's. Uh, some of you in the Southwest might remember that store. Uh, it it was really the the beginning of one stop shopping. Don't mean to get off on a tangent, but um, it had a, a great toy selection, and that's where I I purchased Blowtorch for two dollars and ninety nine cents. So. Uh, I started getting action figures here and there. Um, friends were giving them to me or I was trading for them or uh, parents would get get us one every so often. But it was mainly Masters of the Universe. But when that died out, Masters of the Universe died out, um, that's when G.I. Joe really, really started picking up for us. Um, we had just a, a few vehicles from the start. I had a trouble bubble. Um, I remember getting a dragonfly at a yard sale, I think, and I think my brother's friend gave us a an incomplete Sky Striker. So those were the three vehicles that we had. But um, I was getting older, I was doing yard work and whatnot, and I started buying my own my own action figures. And uh, so a lot of the collection that I've been reviewing uh, is from my childhood. Uh, if there's something that is new or that, well, new to me, that um, wasn't a part of my collection, I'll mention the person's name and you know thank them for for sending it if i purchased it on ebay or just from an individual 
Um, so yeah, I would say right now, 85% of my collection is uh, from my childhood. So for those of you who are um, just getting started on collecting, a uh, few tips that I would like to, to share. Uh, this is something that I, I learned from uh, my ex-wife. Uh, she is an accountant. Um, she says, don't use the household budget for toys. Uh, she was really supportive in, with my collecting. Uh, set, she said, set money aside and and use that. You know, of course, you know, pay pay all the bills, make sure all the obligations are met. You know, the baby's fed, and you know, she has all of her her necessities. Um, then. Uh, use the money that you budgeted for your your collection so I, I want to pass that advice on to you guys as well uh, use set aside a budget whatever you could afford uh, set set aside just a, a fixed dollar amount and stick to that um, yeah you know, get on eBay Amazon uh, I'm sure there are other sites craigslist is another one uh, but um, also go to second hand stores uh, there there are a few um, really nice ones in my area um, that i've had luck with um, i won't give the names because they're my secret but um yeah, secondhand stores are a good place to go. Uh, also, comic book shops, awesome uh, source, um, especially obviously for comics. But um, superheroes, things like that, are, are getting to be really big. And uh, if they don't sell GI Joe or any vintage toys, they'll know somebody who does. So use them as a referral. Uh, there's a, uh, a a big book chain uh, sec used bookstore out here. It's a, not really a chain. I think there's only two or three uh, a franchise. That's the word I was groping for. Um, it's called Bookman's. You know, there's one in Mesa, Arizona, one in Phoenix, and another one in Tucson. Uh, they get a lot of um, vintage toys in there i've i've seen transformers masters of the universe uh, somebody sold sold them a bunch of shogun warriors and robotech you know these really cool toys from our our childhood um so gi joe's a good place to look or bookman's a good place to look for gi joe uh, i actually got my um, hydrofoil from there uh, that I had uh, featured in my uh, just as a, a quick shot uh, see where where else so yes yeah, start off start off with just that budget and um, go after the the bulk sales I mean, if somebody has is just selling a, a huge action figure lot, go for that. That way, you build up your numbers quicker. Uh, then start. If you want want to buy them complete, yeah, they're going to fetch a, a little higher price. But um, I've had luck with. Um, just buying the figure by himself and then slowly find its accessories depending on the figure you know some of them, their accessories are a little more expensive especially the ones from the the line from from excuse me 